Hey friends, welcome to my video. Thanks for clicking on my thumbnail. Glad you're here with I Like Team. Now, today, friends, we are here for the news. That is right, we have two new K-pop junkie videos to watch that he just posted. He posted one an hour ago and one three days ago that I need to catch up on. I was out of town when this dropped, so I couldn't check it out. But um, yeah, it's a five minute video. And then we have this like basically five minute video again. He just dropped it an hour ago, like I said. So yeah, I don't really know what's been going on in K-pop news this week. So I'm excited to catch up and figure it all out. So uh, yeah, let's just get into it. We got a lot to get through. So yeah, before we do, although obviously make sure that you like the video to support K-pop junkie support him because he's my favorite news channel as i say every time and keeps us updated on the news now let's just get into it a few days ago someone apparently entered dreamcatcher's company building without permission why and then posted about it why would you post about it if you're gonna do it first of all but you shouldn't do this an invasion of privacy like what that i'm an insomnia this is this is triggering apparently entered dreamcatcher's company building without permission and then posted about it. I'm not gonna show the photos, but it's just him in various places throughout the building. He said he went there to take pictures of the outside, but since the front door happened to be propped open, he decided to take a peek. No one was at the lobby and all he heard was a vacuum cleaner near the dance practice rooms. He went in, took some photos, and then left. Well, the company found out about this <laughs> saying someone entered our offices without authorization during the time it was being cleaned, which would explain why he heard vacuum noises. Okay, so I guess that's like, you could say that that's the cleaning people if they're there to clean if they have people to clean it or if the staff cleans it, i don't know i don't you could say it's their fault they left the door propped open at the same time i can't get too mad at them for that but maybe they were told not to do that i'm sure they have like these little things you have to scan to get into the building or whatnot so i don't know during the time he was being clean which would explain why he heard vacuum noises they explain that this is considered trespassing it and is. he did not have consent to take pictures yeah, or absolutely film, which could be met with strong legal consequences while a lot of people are concerned about dreamcatcher's safety many fans are i feel like um as far as their safety goes I mean, if you, people know where they're, the DCC building is, you could just look it up. Like, that's not necessarily a problem here. It's not like he was at their dorm or anything crazy. That would be crazy. Um, But still, it's like, yeah, you probably shouldn't just have people just strolling on in there whenever they want to. You shouldn't leave the door propped open. So let's make sure we get that under control in the future, obviously. Um, But hey, I mean... I, realistically he seemed like a guy who was strolling to, to, he just wanted to go by the building and just went inside now taking pictures posting online i not i'm not necessarily mad at this man i feel like as insomnias we're one of the most chill one of the most vibey i i I, th I think about this a lot like who's the most chill fandom in k-pop and i'd honestly think insomnias are one of the most up there i saw a dreamcatcher in concert last year bro everyone at that concert was vibing i see in 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 things online we all just seem to be chill i mean there's obviously a few odd people out but we're mostly pretty chill. I feel like he didn't mean any harm by it. The door was open. He went inside. His morbid cure Well, not morbid. That sounds bad. His curiosity took over, and he went inside, and he was like, I wonder what, what it's like in there. Now, he probably shouldn't have, but I'm, I'm going to... Look, this is, for me personally, slap him on the wrist. I wouldn't do anything too crazy. Just tell him, don't do it again. Why'd you do that? And then, like, yeah, I feel like it's just one of them. Um, As far as the company goes, keep the doors locked. Facts. Legal consequences. While a lot of people are concerned about Dreamcatcher's safety, many fans are also worried about NCT's potential health and condition, who uh -huh. are literally scheduled what for happened? activities, promotions, and tours every month for the rest of the year. We like what they are busy. We hit the halfway point. NCT will of course be releasing a full unit album and then have the NCT Nation concerts that were just announced. Uh -huh. People are especially worried for Hechan and Mark, who have been recently dealing with their own health issues, with the latter actually responding to fans concerns first joking wait what's rest but then try to reassure fans saying he feels good about this album and can't wait for the reactions the concerns okay. probably come from all the breaks and hiatuses we've seen recently Mark's my guy I hope he's the chilling. past couple days after giselle miss espa's knowing bros recording i've SM seen this confirmed that due to her ongoing health issues giselle will also have to miss the group's appearance at the prestigious Man. governor's ball in new york which i'm actually headed to right after this yeah video. stray kids i had to yeah miss the in new york which yeah I'm actually headed to right after bah. this video <laughs> let's Stray go kids, 
Optimus and Countdown after ah. sharing symptoms of a cold, and oh, very so very young Sung will be taking a break from his group activities to recover after visiting the hospital due to back pains. Oh now, my goodness, so many idols are getting hurt and going through stuff this week. Okay, always, as always, wish for a speedy recovery. Out of always. Groups especially are doing big anniversary reunions, like Infinite for their 13th anniversary. 13 is of crazy. Course, Shiny have been doing Let's a go. lot of stuff leading up to their fifth. Shiny's new song, The Feeling, is so good. I just checked it out earlier. Please go listen to it. It is amazing. Team. However, SM has announced that after experiencing health issues and receiving medical examinations, oh, it was decided I didn't know about that this. Onu will not be able to participate. Oh, man. Well, I look. Either way, he put the effort into preparing this, filming the music video, all that stuff. Please go stream the song, The Feeling. It's so good. Concert or album activities. Onu wrote a letter to fans apologizing that he can't be there for their anniversary, but promises to come back happier and healthier. Which is 15 the most is crazy though. Thing. But someone who's returning very soon from his hiatus huh? is Lucas. Huh? After when? Huh? When did this happen? Wait, wait, wait. Nah, see, I would have heard about this if I. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> huh? Someone who's returning very soon What's from happened? his hiatus. Is Lucas. Yeah. After SM announced that Lucas would be leaving NCT and Wavy to debut as a solo artist, uh -huh. it was revealed that he would now be opening his own personal bubble account, to which he directly greeted fans for the first time in almost two years. He thanking did? those who have been waiting for him and how happy he is to interact with them again. We I. I'm happy. That's all I'm, gonna, that's all I'm gonna say. That's, all I'm gonna, that's literally all I'm gonna say. I'm happy. I'm, uh, I'm holding out. Nope. Super. I'm not talking about. Not talking about Super. NCT. Not talking about. Just. I'm happy. Those who have been waiting for him says, and how happy he is to interact Me too, with them again. We also too, got bro. an update from GD himself after all the headlines this week. In the last video, we talked about the speculation that GD had left YG Entertainment because his name was missing from the label's official uh -huh. roster of artists and actors for 2023. YG initially responded to this saying G-Dragon is the only Big Bang member to remain with YG okay. and that his name was omitted due to an error in their okay. system. So well, YG right said, what did he say? I uploaded the last video talking about that yeah. media outlets started reporting that actually GD's contract is already expired. So these reports started blowing up, okay. causing YG to upload a follow up statement confirming that GD's contract has indeed expired, but they're currently discussing various options with him moving forward, even including partial contracts for different activities. <laughs> okay, partial contract for act So basically, what had happened was um yeah nah he wasn't there no more and then yg was like i don't know why y'all talking about that y'all aren't supposed to notice ah crap um uh nah nah he's still chilling uh guy, guys it's quick say something oh uh, yeah nah he's chilling and then everyone's like um well they said different and then they're like ah crap they got us um no you see what well, actually what happened was he's not actually but we're trying to get him to sign the contract so like i, I think we're on good terms so like he's probably gonna sign the contract <laughs> Okay, YG. GD did put out a video earlier this year saying he'll soon return with various uh, activities, including a new album. And yesterday, teased on Instagram that he was in the studio with producer Let's go. Four, who notably works at the Black. Yeah, yeah, he Whatever does. Whatever he decides. No, I feel like I feel like he's probably actually gonna resign. It's just, I just think it's funny from YG's perspective that it's like. No, don't worry, guys. No, don't worry. No, nothing happened. <laughs> to do, even start his own company. I'm just glad we're getting new music. Let's but until go. then, we got a bunch of new music since the last video. TNX did so not disappoint much. with their new song, Following Love or Die, which uh, again, I really, really liked. I'm actually waiting to watch P1, P1 Harmony, Harmony once I'm on the plane. Right so after good. uploading this video, my expectations oh, are- is so good. Oh my gosh. So high after back down. We also have Alexa finally back. And of course, <sighs> BTS's Take 2, already yep. celebrating their 10th anniversary. Ten. Continuing Ten. The positive news we can celebrate. We don't talk about every music show win besides first career wins or first solo trophies, but AB6's win for their new song Loser is quite a significant one for them, as this is their first music show number one in almost three years. The that's, last that's being in cool. July of 2020. The Stray Kids milestones just keep coming, as they now have the best first week selling album of stays. What? Stays. 
you know I'm proud of y'all. Y'all stay. Kids milestones just keep coming as they now have the best first week selling album of all time. And only the <laughs> second one to sell over 4 million copies in that amount of time huh. along with 17. And you know Gaji Hill is about to set some records herself <laughs> as it has now been confirmed that she will be God blessing us with her solo debut oh my this God. August. Let's go. Finally, despite the current chaos, Bro, we got Mi Sambo coming out. We got Ji Hyo coming out. It's just, it's Lost just, it's what it's somehow, on the It has been confirmed that EXO will make a group comeback. I don't know how that happened. They dropped the music video. I, I don't understand. Uh, in my reaction, first of all, the song was vibey. But I was like, hey, yo. I'm confused. In all these K-pop jerky videos you've been watching, uh, from Kai and the military to just the whole debacle with the three members and are they on contract or not, how is... I don't know, but if I just look past all of that, and the thing I really respect with EXO is especially their music. When it comes to EXO and it comes to music, I'm always like, yes, EXO makes good music. So I went into that excited for the new music excited that exo was finally it took it somehow they got there okay they were there i don't know how it happened but they are there and they're presenting me with new music so i was excited but like either way i don't know how i don't know how it came to be uh because based off everything i've been seeing lately that just shouldn't have happened and then it's like all that stuff about their contract last time where it was like we determine when you come back oh but if you don't come back your contract gets extended uh, how did okay and then you delay the come okay with her what? solo debut this August. <laughs> Finally, despite the current chaos and lawsuits, somehow it has been confirmed that Either way, I'm just proud for them to comeback. be releasing music. Not only will the CBX members still be involved, even Kai's voice will be heard in the album. All right, I gotta go to New York. Hopefully the air is better, and hopefully I get to see Espa for longer than one of Ning Ning's live streams. Oh, no. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> Sick. 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 I gotta go to New York. Hopefully the air is I have seen this though. There was like some um there's like a fire or something, Canada Art. There's fires and then it's like making the quality of New York bad. I hope the air does get better. I hope everything about that gets better because that's always sad whenever you hear about fires and whatnot. Better, um, and hopefully I get to but see also, for longer than one of Ning Ning's live streams. Oh no. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> what a live stream. What a live stream. Ning Ning, you're iconic. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, but Lucas. Lucas back on Bubble? What? Huh? I'm hype. Okay. Um, I'm hype. I'm hype. I'm hype. I'm hype. Don't forget to like the video to support K-Pop Junkie. And let's just go. I just got back from Governor's Ball in New York. I haven't even... Yo, that was fast. You just went. Now you back... <laughs> Sucked. I just got back from Governor's Ball in New York. I haven't even unpacked yet, so excuse the no camera production for this video. Excuse my voice. Ah, you I wanted fine. to get a video out because of course Holy, so much. Holy, that's what you saw. You got to see that. Oh my God, go crazy, bro. No <laughs> camera production for this video. Excuse oh my God, my let's voice. go. But I wanted to get a video out because of course so much happened this weekend. By the way, oh, Governor's Espa. Ball was so much fun. Espa were absolutely amazing. Their outfits, their live singing. Yeah, just that's what I'm saying. I like the heart and the little butterfly. It looks it's good. Heaven. It's heaven. Giselle. We heaven, heaven, fact. Now, the Espa vocals are so good. Y'all need to stop it with this. Espa has no stage performance or no charisma, or Espa can't sing. I don't want to hear it from none of y'all. Espa is talented. Yeah. This ball was so much fun. Espa were absolutely amazing. Their outfits, yeah. their live singing. You just got to hear Ning Ning live if you get a chance. It's heaven. I, it's I heaven. want to. Giselle, we missed you. But of course, Facts. SM already announced that she wouldn't be able to participate in any of their New York activities this weekend. However, it looks like Jenny felt well enough to try to push through Blackpink's recent concert in Australia. Unfortunately, during their performance of Lovesick Girls, Jenny suddenly had to leave the stage alongside security guiding her out. Rose would later update fans in her home country. It's the end of the show. We have Jenny, so we're so sad that we can't have her with us today. I like that she tried, though. That's commendable. I respect. I hope she's not overworking herself. Obviously, if she has to leave mid concert, you it looks like she might be overworking herself. But like, I feel like she genuinely just wanted to perform for the fans and whatnot. I know Jenny; she's a great person. So like, I just, you know, and so like, because she was so excited to be in Melbourne. I'm sure she's feeling really, really upset backstage, but, um, yeah. All I'll have Just go Black is Bank. so that she feels better quickly. Jenny, I love you. But most of all, we're just really, really Rosie, I love you. Her. You know, enjoy Thanks. the moment with her. 
Soon after, YG apologized to those who attended, explaining that Jenny wasn't able to continue the show due to her deteriorating condition, according to the on-site medical team. Mm -hmm. Of course, on top of their tour, we've seen Jenny participating in a bunch of activities so recently, many. a lot relating to her show The Idol, which is out I right know. now, that also seemed to spark more acting rumors that Jenny would be making her Marvel debut, huh? maybe in the role of Luna Snow. But YG surprisingly addressed this know. rumor very quickly, simply stating it's not <laughs> true that she's received an offer. Now, <laughs> Oh, all that. We unfortunately have even more idols going on break due to their health. SM Dang. just informed us that NCT's Johnny will now have to suspend all schedules for the time Johnny? being after he hit what a happened? studio door while filming content, fracturing his right uh -huh. clavicle. He's going to. Ha! Uh -huh. No! Oh, I know that is pain, and especially as a dancer and a performer, bro. Nah, your collarbone. Oh, ah, they said right collarbone, didn't they? Ah, oh, ow. Oh, get better soon, please. That NCT's oh. Johnny will now have to suspend all schedules. I know someone day. personally who has broken their collarbone before and they had to get like this like metal wire in the, in the I now his is fractured, not broken. Hopefully that can heal. Okay, I wish a speedy recovery to you, Johnny, bro, because I like you and After I just don't want to studio mm, door ow. while filming content. What does that even mean? Hits a studio door like a, mm. Actually his right clavicle. He's going to miss a huge portion of NCT's plans for the rest of the year. And like we discussed previously, they literally have plans all year month for the rest of the year. <sighs> MLD Entertainment also announced that TFN Xi'an will be going on hiatus for a second time after being diagnosed with sensory neural hearing loss and will need to continue receiving intensive treatment. The last okay. more serious topic we'll discuss. I hope I hope he's uh I hope he's doing good. We'll need to continue receiving intensive for I am someone who actually has like hearing problems. But this is just my own doing from when I was young, listening to music at way too loud volumes for a long time. I, I like messed up my ears. But like, I hope everything good for him. Um, I know what it's like to be in loud environments and it's really, really annoying because it's so loud. But that's just my fault again because I messed up my ears. Uh, I'd, I'd always advise you to wear earplugs in loud environments at like concerts and things. Please protect your ears. Your hearing is very important for like just your future yet yeah, yeah, having ears is very nice this more serious topic we'll discuss is zero base one's ricky being left what? at the airport of course the boys huh? planet winners are gearing up for their anticipated debut and we're heading okay. to jeju island to film content now yeah. even though jeju island is part of korea it seems if you're not a korean citizen you still need to show a passport it looks okay. like someone on the management team may have forgotten about that detail for the two chinese members who were refused entry onto the plane the team eventually found a way for how to board the plane but not not Ricky, who was left at the airport while the other guys had to go on and continue their schedule. I know they haven't debuted yet, and I actually haven't watched uh, Boys Planet. But either way, for him to just be, he's, he's essentially famous now. They haven't uh, debuted officially, but he's famous. You're just going to leave him at the airport? Either way, to leave anyone at the airport, staff, no matter who it is, I don't care who it is, y'all can't just be leaving people at the airport. Okay? <laughs> and like... What? What the? No, how? What? No, that's just that. Who was left at the that's crazy. While the other guys had to go on and continue their schedule. I mean, I shoot. guess because you have to get on a plane. They're like, I don't know all the rules with the passports and all that, but either way, that is crazy. Some say he was waiting alone the whole time, while <sighs> others reassured that there was staff with him figuring things out. Now, I'd like it to wasn't hope. all serious this weekend because there was also a lot of pot. <laughs> <laughs> Yunjin looked so good. Yunjin performed her first, her f first, what? Her first solo. S nah, Yunjin, I love you so much. The Seraphim was like holding their little signs. I saw all the pictures on Instagram. Oh my god. <sighs> With him figuring things out. <laughs> now, it wasn't all serious this weekend because there was also a lot of positive things to celebrating K pop as well. After the confusion due to the departures of Mashiho and Bang Yedam, YG has finally updated what the future for Treasure will entail. They will indeed be making a comeback with an album titled Reboot. And there will yeah. also be a subunit called T5 who okay. will be showcased before their full comeback. Now, I don't know okay. what the chances are of us seeing I'm all the ex Luna girls together on stage. Yeah, I really don't either, but I saw this news. I don't know what the. 
I really just one performance just somehow somewhere some way but like it might not happen if it never happens I, I look I'm still I'm just proud that they are now not stuck under that horrible contract with BBC but either way man just one performance like now, that would I don't be, know what the chances are of us seeing all the ex Luna girls together on stage outside Excited of Blackberry for that, now um, and I kind of wish they were Treasure signing song, with the other members but I'm just I like glad Treasure that Hyunjin and VV have now found a new exactly. home to so promote happy. under Hyunjin my bias too like new company will learn from the mistakes <laughs> of Blackberry because it was actually established by a former Blockberry employee. The girls must have some trust in this management to sign after what they've been through. Even I mean, though there it's is... only been a few yeah, years. Yeah, I mean, look. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, right. But, but, surely they were close to that one person. Either way, that's my bias, okay? That's my that's my bias bread right here. And Vivi, I just, I just, I just love her. So, like, I'm just, look, I believe something could happen. I don't know. But like, just one performance, please, 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 please. <laughs> this management to sign after what they've been through even though it's only been a few days we've had some pretty big releases and comebacks since the last video pre-releases from kang daniel XO, xo was amazing these come back with shiny was and so finally good. shiny's new song and music oh God, video so for the feeling so we also previously it. mentioned in hypen's comeback which has now earned them their first top let's five go into the billboard let's go, boys. at number four also congrats to stray kids once again whose album stays at number one on the billboard 200 let's go Not only the first k-pop artist to have their first three entries debut at the very top but the first to do so at all since harry styles and while i was in new york watching espa make history at governor's ball a lot of you guys a lot of you guys were on the other side of the country watching twice make history at sofi stadium and while they were doing that it was also announced that they are now the first and only k-pop girl group in history to ever let's sell go. one million albums in the u.s let's okay, go and you know me hey you know me you look over here i got i got me a, a, a quite a decent amount of twice albums so i'm i'm adding to that million that y'all so that's me y'all let's go <laughs> Albums in I still US. need the infinity okay, lights to look so we gotta cool. get to in the next video BTS's 10th anniversary is about to kick off. Let's go recording this but I gotta unpack so I'll see you guys very soon. All right. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Oh <laughs> That's fine. Hey, hey BTS 10, that's 10 years with BTS already and it's like a lot of these other people It's like uh, what was it infinite was on 13 shiny on 15 and they're like bro So many so many anniversaries so many prominent groups just just, 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 just shout out to y'all Shout out to y'all. Y'all done made it all this time. Y'all are cool. Y'all, y'all, like, mm. And then on top of that, it's just, like, all the news we had this week. Now, though, there seems to be a lot of people that have been, uh, just, like, in bad health, if I'm being honest, it seemed like this week. So, I really do hope for a speedy recovery for all of them. Um, there was a lot of people that it just, but, like, also at the same time, there seemed like there was a lot of good news this week. Like I said, Treasure coming back. I'm excited for that because Treasure always puts out good music. So, it has been a minute now that I think about it since Volcano and Hello, Hello, Hello. And, yeah, that was, I mean, I really liked that album. So, they're coming back finally. Um, on top of all of that, um, I hope Jenny is doing better. I hope Johnny is doing better. Y'all can't be leaving people at airports. What is good? Um, Dreamcatcher, that thing. I feel like the company just got to lock the doors. Okay. Um, and then Lucas is, but I'm excited for that. Hey. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just excited. Okay. Uh, with that being said, friends, that's going to do it for me today, though. I hope you enjoyed this video. We caught up on the news, checked out what we had to, and we had a good time. So, uh, like I always say, go support K-pop Junkie. But yeah, if you want to talk about any of these comments uh, or any of these topics down below, I'd love to. We can talk down below. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. But that's going to do it for me today, friends. I'm going to get out of here, edit this, and get it up for you. So, I hope you, yes, you have a good day, morning, or night, whatever time it is for you and wherever you are in the world. With that being said, peace. Stay in K-pop Junkie. Goodbye.